Oh, um, one thing I should tell you is every now and then you hear a piston activate. Um, because it's, it always seems to be this, one of the top pistons, uh, it doesn't affect the RS nor latch. So it doesn't uh, close the door. It doesn't ever seem to be the bottom one. Oh, it's the reason. Well, Jesus. The reason um, it extends periodically is because for each chunk, I think this must only apply in single player, there's a block update, an 80 block updates per chunk per tick or something, so there's uh, 16 times, 256 blocks per layer and times 128 that's that's like a lot like 10,000 or whatever so every now and then one of these blocks around here will get updated so that's why it extends and retracts Oh, and one good thing about this design is that, besides the piston, you don't see anything. Uh, you can easily cover all that shit up. So, yeah. Hi guys, I'm just recording a clip of my, <coughs> of my prototype melon farm. I don't know if I'll use this video, but I didn't record much, so I guess I will. So, here it is. I could hide all that um, and that is actually quite big, it only grows two melons. Okay, so this is what happens. Oh, okay, never mind. Ha! Huh. It grew, okay. So you can walk in, the doors will be open if someone hasn't closed them somehow. You take your melon, take your melon pieces, since you can stand in this corner, you can get all of them. Oh, yeah, and then it closes, so you can't get out because they're iron doors. And on a server, you probably have this safeguarded by some program. So, what's the obvious thing to do? Ta-da! So, this one also works. You can also do both. When you hear the door sound, it is actually opening and closing, but it doesn't seem to show it. And um, if one of them is untilled, then it overrides the other, which may be tilled. So that's how, that's what happens. Hello. Hey. Does it go like that? Okay, uh, never mind. So, I have two bud switches, one on top, one underneath the start block. And then they, when one of those blocks updates, it sends out a pulse. One, two, here one, two, here, and then they go into an R RNS, R RS nor latch, which then goes to the doors. One of them is inverted because you know how double doors are annoying like that. Those are some, that one works, it's not the greatest though. But this one is finished. So that's just it's an action. Bye. I just wanted to show you another invention. Uh, surely this one has already been made. But it's a melon farm that has a pre-tilled strip of soil. So it automatically harvests itself. And I guess it has there. The idea was to channel them all into there with pistons, but it doesn't quite work. See? 
every, uh, usually about, hey, yeah, I just tilled that strip, so I guess while I've been building that, it's been uh, harvesting, so that was a good harvest, all of them, a lot of them came down here, so what happens is that there's redstone going into where the melon would be, when the melon grows, it's, uh, there's a barn. It, what does it do? It powers this. And then that goes through this circuit of a model stable pulse generator. And then it goes to these pistons. Comes here. That thing is like a repeater, but it has no lag when it's extending. Which is good. And then that rotates the strip around. So since it just harvested itself, you just saw, uh, this, this block here is untilled, so I just tilled that. So every now and then you just run along and do that, and then you're good to go. You just come back every now and then.